everyone. My name is Anna. I love everything to do with science. Do you? enough to play Anna. Anna is Professor Eggtop's niece and she loves science and using the scientific method. The most fun part about working on this series oh, has just working with the energy of Anna. Uh, she has a lot of energy and she gets excited a lot. So getting to work with her different reactions to all the chaos that goes on has been very, very fun. The most difficult part of playing Anna is consistently staying in Anna's voice the whole time because she does have so many reactions and she does get so excited you as a voice actor have to work very hard to make sure that all those different reactions stay in the world the voice world of Anna. Step four experiment time. Oh yeah well you forgot one thing Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Conclusion it worked thanks to the scientific method. So the advice that I would give any aspiring actors or voice actors who want to get in is dive in head first. Go and do classes, do things with your friends, make silly short films. If you want to do voice acting and acting, there are ways to go and do it as a kid. Uh, so long as your parents say it's okay, but you know, sometimes it's not an adult doing kids' voices, it's kids' voices doing kids' voices. So go in and yeah, but have fun and never lose track of having fun. Honestly, I have done a few kid shows in my time as a voice actor and I don't think I've ever found a show that's been both educational and fun to be in at the same time. And I think it's a really great way for people to discover the scientific method. Obviously, you know, we're not doing trips to Mars as yet, but, you know, it gets kids interested in science. And it's a, it's a great cast. I love that it's set in Brisbane uh, originally, which is where I'm from as well. And I love the local Brizzy references. Um, but yeah, I just think kids can relate to it and it's a load of fun. Thumbs <laughs> <sighs> 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 <Okay>. up! <laughs> Very good.